You know, I've never completed this game as any of the starting factions. Might as well play as the most white bread of them all. Who are the Asur? An enigma to men and dwarfs who know them as high elves. At the center of the great ocean lies Althuan. A paradise created by the Old Ones. But when the Stellar Gates collapsed, demons flooded the mortal plane. All was lost until Anarion the Defender strode forth. The first Phoenix King vanquished the demons. With the aid of the Archmage, Kalidor Dragon Tamer. It was Kalidor and his elven mages who created the Great Vortex. A swirling maelstrom that siphoned the excess magic withering demonkind. With the world purged of chaos, the Elves took it upon themselves to become guardians and stewards. The twin-tailed comet is oft seen as an omen, but this time its wake brought great peril. The dragon with two tails flies lower than before. Its trail disturbs the vortex. I have felt a change in the winds of magic. Then write it, brother. Lead the mages of Safari. Bring all in the White Tower to bear if you must. Such lore is currently beyond us. I suggest a scrying ritual in the Pool of Isha. It may provide us with the answer. Such a ritual requires fragments of fallen waystones. Far more than we have. Then we find more. Make ready your ritual, Lord Master Talarian. You will have your fragments. I shall start the search in Lustria. Lustria? My brother will search here, in Althuan. Why do you care so much about the greater world? Why do you not? Stay here, brother. Protect Althuan. But I venture beyond our borders. And while you meddle in far-flung continents, I will ensure you have a home to return to. Not gonna lie, I feel like I should have taken the brother. I love the fact that his sword is just constantly on fire. Only you can prevent forest fires. Right, it's been a while since I've actually played. I forgot we started out with enemy factions. Huh. How the hell did they get on the donut? Wait, what? Wait, range of 180. Range of 125. What the hell do you guys do here? Crossbows make him so bad. I think I'll fight this one. Darf Ayan. That sounds like the most cyberpunk name you could think of. It's not from- I forgot I don't have a wizard, I don't gotta do the little coin toss. Okay, we're gonna reforge these guys. That was not an Age of Sigmar reference. I absolutely love the fact that my archers outrange their crossbowmen. That- that should not be how it works. Even if we're longbowmen, that's not how it should work. And, sir, you might want to raise your shield. A well, good man, you did just in time. Took a hell of a hit, though. Okay, that's getting a little close to me. Fall back. Falling back now would be a good idea. Damn, I thought they were all dead. They just got... I think they're all dead. Yeah, no, I definitely think they're dead. What is it? I am a warden, not a low-born tradesman. Funny thing about that. In my father's name. <laughs> now who's a tradesman? I'll take a non-aggression from them. Indeed. I don't care again wrapped up in any of these northern wars. Uh, no one should be able to push in on the donut. I'm I hope. Oh, it's so nice to see the loading actually go by fast. Look, the faster I can shoot arrows, the more I can hit them before they get to my front line. Medieval problems require medieval solutions. Dread spears, black arc corsair. 
I think I could beat that. I'm gonna take the tower. Yeah, turns out, uh, you guys didn't really need me and my, uh, flaming sword. Yeah, yeah, now that I'm looking at it, yeah, very devastating. Little overpowered, I dare say. You know what, Spearman? I, I really value you being here. Please don't act like the Triaria and try to kill me because you're not seeing combat. That would suck. More for you, less for me. Protection now, the will the AI be smart and pull back its army to here to try and, well, stop this? Probably not. They're probably going to try and attack, and you know what? All power to them. You know, now that I'm looking at it... Wait. Why the hell are they all wounded? I think this game really underestimates me. For my queen. Queen? Tyrion, why are you a simp? There is no queen. Why are you what? <laughs> the anime girl is not real, Tyrion. Nice move. But you've fallen for my trap card. It's called a field battle. Wait a minute, can they come through this? I don't think they can. This is a... Hmm. They haven't really fuck with them. I know you're not tree elves, but please hide. Come on, there's 120 here. Surely you can find enough trees to hide behind. Okay, now they're gonna come in on the flank here. We'll just hit them. Hit them with everything we got. That army will have to walk over here. Which, they're a little closer than I expected. That's fine. Make it that much easier to shoot them. Well, it's not the most organized retreat. Oh, that's beautiful. That's great. That's why I need it. Back over once more, another pass. Well, it wasn't Pyrrhic, but it sure was messy. Yeah, no, I guess there's a slight difference between the two of them. Hmm. Their, uh, their cards look a lot more different than the actual units. Okay, and who the hell are you? Oh, there's just some spearmen hanging out back there. The Kalidor question. Whenever the envoys of Kalidor are at court, Fractious are the proceedings. They refuse to dip their flags to the Phoenix King, choosing instead to reference Kalidor the Conqueror, who they say earned them the right to do as they please. Their arrogance is astounding, their insubordination infuriating, yet the Order of Vol hail from Kalidor, and their magical skills must never be underestimated, nor their loyalty imper imperiled. Hmm. So I can share them with praise, which makes us more friendly, or get more influence. Honestly, I'm in the game for myself. So, uh, stop being a bunch of little fucks, would you? That is a sacrifice I am willing and ready to make. There is glory to be won. Well, that's really good. Yeah, holy shit, that's actually really good. Well, I completely forgot about this character. Um... I'll make my money back in two turns, so yeah, sure. I am Tyrion, champion of the Ever Queen. You massive simp. You get one trade deal. I could auto resolve this, but I kind of want to watch them charge into a hail of arrows. There's definitely a lot more than that coming out of those trees. I now know why Ramsay liked these so much. Yeah, that first assault did not go well for Sarath. To be fair, the other two didn't go well either, but they at least reached my archers. What? I, I don't know what the AI does sometimes. <laughs> Was that 1,700 archers? Lined up? Bows knocked and drawn? I know. We'll charge with me and my personal bodyguard. It can only go well. Wait a minute. Why the hell are goblin archers almost equal in range to... They're actually better, some of them. To the crossbows. For the other elf faction, that's... Odd. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's Grom. And he just plowed right through an entire line of spears. Hmm. Did not see that coming. Now, he's a big target. He's a big boy. You should be able to hit him. Vol's anvil, where's that? Well, Kalidor, I think it's time you came into the fold. I mean, you haven't gone to war with anyone. Well, okay, sure, why not? It's one step closer to Confederation. Oh, look at that, the Vampire Coast became a duet. I don't like how close they are to my capital. That's, um, that's not a suitable climate for me. So this is what Helm's Deep would look like if it was a civil war. Oh, 
Oh, these are the spearmen. Wait a minute, where are my rangers? Oh, they're down here. And <laughs> the spearmen's running away from them. Yeah, they're leaving the archers to fight them. Not a very smart choice. Wow. Even Nagarith declared war on Tiranak. Oh, don't, don't do what I think I'm gonna do. Never mind. Huh. I did not expect the pirate to become a privateer. Oh, that's pretty good. I don't recall it being a thing before, but that's pretty good. But I'll have to defend Lothurn, that's fine. Glittering Tower, also fine. Tower of Lysen. Oh. Oh, so my three most defendable positions. Okay. I am ready to fight. Well, it's chaos taken care of. Who knew they'd be that simple? How the hell did we lose in the end times? Oh yeah, Skaven. Lots and lots of Skaven. The way fragments were gathered, the ritual cast. Arcane power lit Alfwen skies. Lawmaster Telerian, ally of Teglis, was joined by Gallifreus, squire of Tyrion. They would be the prince's eyes as the goddess Isha revealed her prophecy. The lawmaster and squire saw the Isle of the Dead wreathed in fire. The vortex gone. Without the vortex, chaos floods the world with Althuan doomed to sink beneath the waves. But the star crown of Lilith has the power to restore it. The crown was shattered long ago. If the lost shards are reforged, Althuan can be saved. Isha has blessed our agents with one piece of the star crown. But four shards remain lost. Talarian suggests invoking the spirits of the Phoenix Kings. For who better than a king to find a crown? The cost is high to cast such rituals. More wave fragments are needed. And now, folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>